Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. I'm JP and this is Good Talk HQ. In today's episode, we'll take a look at some of the best deals that you can find right now for under $5 on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And at the end, I'll let you know how to enter this week's giveaway. If you've been here before, as always, I'd like to welcome you back to the show. You're absolutely the best community on YouTube, hands down. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, please consider joining our extended family here at the channel. We cover Nintendo Switch content every week and we live stream with our viewers so we can all hang out and play some video games together. We'd love to welcome you as well. Either way though, please enjoy the video. Alright, we'll start off this week's list with Akalos. This is a retro style single player adventure game from publisher P-Cube and has a main story that shall last players roughly 7 or 8 hours to complete. This game combines an old school look with modern gameplay controls, making it one of the most fun retro platformers on the Switch in our opinion. Players will get to explore a vast kingdom with a wide variety of unique locations, and the music and graphics are top notch. But the boss battles were a particular highlight for us. They're all very well animated, and this was truly a joy to play through. If you're interested in Agalos, make sure to pick it up before the sale ends on August 27th. It's currently marked down 80% to an all-time low of just $2.99. Alright, next we have Apple Slash. This is a new release and they're offering an early adopter discount which is always nice. Apple Slash is a single player arcade style adventure game from Metallica Games and has a main story that should last players 5 or 6 hours or so. Players get to assume the role of the mighty Apple Knight equipped with his slashing sword. The game features a very innovative combat system where you can combine attacks and skills together for massive damage bonuses. Along the way, you'll befriend a wide array of charming characters and creatures as you aim to repel the invasion into your marshland. This game is beautiful and obviously features a unique graphical design, but if you're interested in Apple Slash, make sure to pick it up before the sale ends on August 20th. It's currently marked down 20% to just $3.99. Next we have Air Memories of Old. This is a single player 3D adventure game from Data Lake Entertainment with a short but sweet story that will last players roughly 3 or 4 hours to complete. It revolves around a young female protagonist who is tasked with uncovering the secrets that left the world shattered in the sky. The most unique feature of the game is of course the way that you shapeshift and fly around to the different floating islands. Now this one is on sale pretty often, but I always recommend it. It's gorgeous on the Switch and it runs great as well, plus the story is really gripping. If you still haven't picked this one up, but you're interested, make sure to check it out before the sale ends on August 19th. It's currently marked down 90% to just $1.99, matching its all-time low. Next we have The Count Lucanor. This is a single player adventure style RPG from Merge Games and offers players a main story that should last roughly 4-6 to six hours to complete. Now this is a disturbing game shown from a top down view with some of the best pixel art on the Switch in our opinion. The story follows a young boy named Hans who runs away from home and finds himself trapped in a nightmarish castle with a devious ruler who likes to play twisted games. Players will have to traverse the huge castle and try to uncover the mysterious nature of the things going on here. Careful though, every decision you make can alter the final outcome as there are 5 different endings to see making this a great value when it's on sale and it's currently marked down 80% until August 24th. You'll be able to get it for just $2.99 so be sure to check it out. Next we have the Faerun Collection. This is a collection of 4 single player games from Fly High Works and they offer roughly 9-10 to 10 hours of combined gameplay. In this package you'll get the original Faerun which was a retro style adventure RPG and saw players solving puzzles, working to seal away an ultimate evil. Faerun 2 which was a bigger adventure but similar to the original, Faerun Origin which was similar in gameplay but told the origin story, and you'll also get the shoot 'em up Faerun Blast. This gave players a different style of game with their favorite characters still being featured. These games have been overhauled and enhanced for the Nintendo Switch, so be sure to check them out before the sale ends on August 19th. It's currently half price at an all-time low of just $4.99. Next we have Felix the Reaper. This is a single player adventure style puzzle game from Data Lake Entertainment and offers players a main story that should last roughly 10 to 20 hours or so. Players will assume the role of Felix, who is a Reaper, and he's fallen madly in love with a young maiden named Betty. In order to impress her, he's decided to ensure she always has work by making sure to send as many people to the afterlife as he can. Players can only move in the shadows, so you'll need to manipulate your surroundings to find your way through the world. It is actually really fun to move the sun around and see the shadows dance around the screen. The gameplay, story, and sound are all top notch and this is one of the highly recommended games if you haven't played it before. If you're interested, make sure to pick it up before the sale ends on August 19th. It's currently back on sale to an all-time low of just $1.99 at an 87% discount. 
Alright, next we have Figment. This is a single player 3D isometric adventure game with some action elements thrown into the mix. The main story will take players roughly 5-7 to seven hours to complete. Firstly, I have to say the hand painted world and the peaceful soundtrack were the biggest draw for me to the game. I had always heard great things and I'm glad I gave it a try. The gameplay is very similar to Bastion or Transistor if you played those games before. The whole game takes place inside the mind of a young man who's been in an accident and falls into a coma, so we must play out the events of the man's imagination and solve the random puzzles along the way. Right now Figment is on sale until August 30th, marked down 87% to an all time low of just $2.59, be sure to check it out. Next we have Flipping Death. This is a single player 2D puzzle adventure style game from publisher Zoink Games and offers players 5-10 to 10 hours of gameplay for the main story. You'll play as a young woman named Penny who dies under strange circumstances and when you awake you'll find yourself filling in for death himself. The unique feature to this game is the ability to flip between the world of the living and the world of the dead and you'll use this ability to help you solve many of the puzzles you encounter along your journey to uncover the mysterious circumstances surrounding your death. The game features a rich and colorful environment and a unique pop-up book art style and a very emotional story that is sure to keep you engaged and moving forward. If you're interested, make sure to pick up Flipping Death while it's on sale before August 18th for just $3.99 marked down 80% to an all-time low. Next we have Flood of Light. This is a single player 2D puzzle platformer from publisher IndieNova and will take players roughly 6-8 to eight hours to complete. Now this is a puzzle game that focuses on gorgeous art and mesmerizing music. Players will take control of a young girl who finds herself in a city that has been completely flooded with water and you must use your ability to control the light in order to solve the puzzles. Each puzzle that you solve will cause the water to lower gradually until you finally clear the city and save the day. There are 9 total chapters spanning more than 60 levels that progressively get harder and more complex as you go. There's a lot of value here and it's currently on sale for just $2.49 which is a 50% discount until August 26th. Next we have Ghoul Boy. This is a single player 2D platformer from Dolores Entertainment and offers a main story that should last players roughly 3 or 4 hours or so. Now this is an exciting platformer that combines some elements from the action RPG genre and the combat from a hack and slash game. The game looks and sounds like it was plucked right from the 16-bit era. Players will have to find clever uses for their items in order to progress. For example, you'll typically find yourself having to use your spear to create a platform that you'll be able to jump up to. This would then allow you to reach a new area. The game was recommended to me a little bit ago by a viewer and I've enjoyed my time with the game ever since. Thank you very much. If you're interested in Ghoul Boy, make sure to grab it up before the sale ends on August 18th. It's currently marked down 80% to just $1.99. Next we have Reventure. This is a single player 2D action platformer from Pixelato Games and offers players around 8-10 to 10 hours of main story gameplay. This is a cool side scroller with 100 possible endings, so every decision you make could lead to a different outcome. The world and your character also change with each run. There are loads of unlockables including new playable characters, costumes, and more. There are also more secrets to find than I could count. Now the game is sort of a blend of different genres all rolled up into one very nice unique game. One warning though, it will take a few runs to get the feel of things and to where you feel powerful enough to face some of the tougher enemies, but stick with it and you'll get it. The replayability alone makes this worth the asking price, and right now you can get it on sale until August 22nd. It's currently marked down 50% to just $3.99. Next we have Rive the Ultimate Edition. This is a 2D arcade style action platformer from Two Tribes Publishing and offers players roughly 8-10 to 10 hours of main story gameplay, even more for completionist. This game is hectic and crazy but so much fun to play. You have to blast your way through some intense and spectacular battles in this tough but fair platformer. The game also features multiplayer action for up to 2 players in local co-op which is always welcomed in our house. In Rive you get to pilot this spider tank as your main mode of transportation and man this little guy is a monster. It feels like David vs Goliath in most situations but it's awesome. This was another viewer suggested pick a bit back and once again I have to thank you it's been a great game. If you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out before the sale ends on August 27th and it's currently marked down 87% to just $1.99. Alright, next we have Splasher. This is a fun and challenging 2D platformer full of comedy and set in a crazy cartoon network. The game comes to us from Plugin Digital and this single player romp will take around 7-8 hours to complete. Players will be armed with a paint cannon and face off against the dangerous Inc Corp in their mega factory to save your fellow Splashers and finish off the final boss. 
The game is challenging and will require lightning quick reflexes and patience as you discover new ways to tackle each level. The game features one of the most outrageous soundtracks and bright colorful environments. I had to grab this up a little bit ago. If you're a fan of comedy and 2D platformers that are tough as nails, grab this one up while on sale before August 23rd. It's currently marked down 75% to an all time low of just $374. Alright, next we have Screen Cheat Unplugged. Screen Cheat is an FPS party style game from Samurai Punk and offers local couch co-op mayhem for up to 4 players offline. Remember the days of the Nintendo 64 first person shooter multiplayer greats like GoldenEye? And do you remember how often you would cheat and check your friend's corner of the screen? Well this game takes that concept and fleshes it out into a fully functioned game. It's great if you have a circle of gamer friends or family members that like to play these style of games, but in this one everyone is invisible so you have to screen cheat. The game does feature some Switch exclusive enhancements and control schemes, which like I mentioned can be a really good time. If you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out before the sale ends on August 26th. It's currently marked down 84% to an all time low of just $2.07. Alright, next we have Super Faust 2. This is another single player action platformer from the same creator that gave us both Daddish games. This one features endless action, unlimited stages that change every time you play, dozens of enemy demon types, and massive explosions. The game is all out madness and for some reason the only way to kill things is to smash into them head first. The game even has some cool upgrade systems in place that allow you to use the loot that you find in order to upgrade your weapons and powers. This game is a blast just like both Daddish games, only way more fast paced. If you're interested make sure to grab it up before the sale ends on August 30th, it's marked down 80% to just $2. Alright next we have Bot Vice. This is a single player arcade style shooter with loads of fast paced action. We play as a young female protagonist who has a personal vendetta against a local crime gang called the Wildbots. Our only goal is to bring them to justice one way or another. This game features super intense arcade style shooting with an auto aim system allowing for more time to focus on the fun gameplay mechanics. The game also features multiple game modes and difficulty settings making it approachable for all players. The pixel art graphics and the catchy 90s soundtrack were amazing. This is a great little pickup when it's on sale and it's currently marked down 80% to an all time low of just $1.99 until August 19th. Alright folks here are some other games to consider that are under $5 while you're on the eShop. Thank you all for watching. Alright folks, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. If you made it this far, thank you as always for watching and hanging out with us for a few minutes again today. We appreciate and value your time, so again, thank you. For the new folks, please consider subscribing to join our extended family. We do eShop gift card giveaways. All you have to do to enter is just be subbed to the channel, leave a like on the video and comment on any of the eShop sales videos throughout the week so I can find your name and put you on the current list. Either way though, we hope you had a good time. Please stay safe out there and we'll let little man take us home as always. Bye everyone. That's all for today's list. We hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking down below. Okay, bye.